in the VC, bar none. I mean, I've seen some pretty cool facial sculptures in, in the vinyl community, but Tuco's got, got it going on. You just, I'm not even gonna try and describe it. You guys need to go to Wax Ecstatic, subscribe, and check out the Tooth Master. Tuco, is, his channel is amazing. He just, he broke 150 subscribers not too long ago, and now he's holding this amazing contest. The contest is easy. You just gotta show an album that you wish you could go back and hear again for the first time. Um, Tuco's into all kinds of music. I, I assume predominantly he's a metal guy. And he's a musician, he built, rebuilds bicycles, which I think is so friggin' cool. Uh, he's been in bands. Um, and I know he likes all kinds of music, like New Wave. Punk. I know he was on uh, Jason Skill's live stream the other day and showed some really cool records. God, he's got an amazing collection. Um, just all kinds of very collectible, very cool records. So anyway, Tuco, congratulations on the subs, man. I'm sure you're well on your way to uh, big numbers sub-wise. Um, so anyway, um, and then the prize booty for uh, the contest is quite lucrative. And plus you get a freebie. You get some buttons with the, your channel logo, which is kick-ass. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm going to show an album that I wish I could go back and, and watch for the first time. Or listen to for the first time. And then I'm going to show an album that kind of... I felt the same way years later about that was very much influenced by this band. So, first off, the album I wish I could go back and, and listen to again for the first time because it made such a huge impact on me was Kiss Destroyer. Now, I know everybody's shown Kiss records. And everybody has their own story about Kiss, but I gotta turn that down just a little bit, even though it sounds killer. Um, but really, you had to be there when Kit in the '70s when Kiss first came out, when they first broke out, because it was a phenomenon. It was like hero worship. 
these guys were to to uh, to me and my friends were like superheroes. I mean, look at that album cover. I mean, they actually look like superheroes. I mean, Destroyer, that's what they look like. They're like destroyers of worlds right there. They were just, they all had a different identity. Um, it was, and there were secret identities. I mean, it's not like the internet now and cell phones where you can take a picture of somebody without makeup on. These guys kept their secret identities um, forever. I mean, they'd go out with their girlfriends, they'd have, you know, like, uh, bandanas over their faces or something to cover up it was an amazing it, it gave them a certain mystique and I'm telling you you know these young guys they, they say how much they like Kiss but you really really had to be there to experience what Kiss was like what kind of a phenomenon it was and, and just you know how cool they really were and what they meant to us plus our parents hated them and, um, but I remember the first time I heard this, I played it over and over, and me and my friends would pretend we were the members of KISS. We tried to make KISS outfits. We tried to hammer hunks of wood on the bottom of our tennis shoes and then try and make the KISS boots. It was, you know, when we were kids, for Christ's sake. But um, yeah, KISS Destroyer um, was the album that just blew my doors off. Plus, Kiss always had like some cool thing inside their record, so it was like a gimmicky kind of thing. There's the uh, Kiss Army, which I'm, I think I'm still a member of Kiss Army. But anyway, um, and their logo, I mean, their logo is absolutely unmistakable. It's so great. And then later on, years and years later, just a few years back, another band came out. And they too had secret uh, identities, and that was Ghost. Now Ghost had um, the guy wears like makeup and a prosthesis. Here's the, the cover, and he sings with it the whole time. And they kind of kept their identity a secret too. And then there's the nameless ghouls that are um, the players uh, for the band as well. Let's see if I can find a really cool picture here of the band to show you. Hopefully there's one in here. Maybe not. Maybe it's just on the back cover here. Here it is. It's on the inner sleeve. There's Ghost right there. And it, it was just, a, 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 it brought back so many memories of being a fan of KISS that, um, of course, their identities were eventually, well, the Nameless Ghouls weren't, but um, Tobias Forge was eventually outed as the, as the uh, Papa Emeritus or Cardinal Copa, of Go the singer for Ghost. Uh, lots of occultish stuff, lots of stuff that pissed people off which is exactly what KISS did um, when they came out. So anyway, that's another album that, I'd like to, that I would like to hear again for the first time. I was hooked. Me and my daughter both became fans. We went and seen them several times. Um, my daughter even went to Europe to watch them a couple times. Got kind of in their inner circle a little bit. Got to know some of the band. Got to know some friends of the band. Um, so it was, yeah, super cool. And I would be just like sitting there and tell me some more stories about ghosts and stuff. So yeah. Anyway, Tuco, congratulations. YouTube, go check out Tuco on Wax Ecstatic. I will try and put a link in my comment section below or the description below. And um, yeah, great contest. Um, I hope I win. Ha! Stay cosmic. Peace. It's cosmic final.